Hey guys, this is Matthew Crush. I'm coaching and today we're talking about using your body to hit the tennis ball. Now I know a lot of people are just getting started with tennis or maybe you've been playing for a couple of years have been told that you're just arming the shot. You're not using your body to hit the ball. You're just getting over there and letting your arm do all the work. This can cause a lot of problems, not to mention it's a bad ball. You're going to hit arming it all the time. You want to be able to crush that tennis ball and use your body to build up some momentum using what we like to call the kinetic chain. So if you're doing this, if you're just using your arm only and you don't quite know how to use your body, you don't know what it feels like yet. I remember when I, the first couple years I was playing tennis, I didn't quite get it. People told me, you know, get down, get under the ball, use your body, you're arming it, all these different things, and you don't understand what they mean. I'm going to make it really easy today. All you need is a medicine ball or a dumbbell, anything with a little weight to it. Set your racket down, get in an athletic position with the weight to your right, because we're gonna work on the forehand, and a little bit behind you. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get down, make sure you bend at the knees, you get down. Do not pick up this ball with your arms or your back. We're gonna use our legs, and we're gonna use the kinetic chain to do this. So I got the ball, and I just bring it out to the front of my body. And you're gonna feel it every time you do this. Keep doing it, get used to how this feels. You're gonna feel the power come from the ground, feel it go from your calf, your hamstring, your hip, your abs. Once it gets to the abs, you're there at contact. So here we go again. Turn a little. We're coiling up for the ball. It's coming at us. And then we're uncoiling and unleashing all that power. So you cannot do this unless you're using your lower back. And if you are, don't do that. You're going to get the back attack. But it's really hard to do this without feeling the kinetic chain engage. This is what it needs to feel like when you hit the tennis ball. So instead of the medicine ball this time, let's try it with the racket. Same thing, I'm gonna put it down there, I'm gonna pick it up in a semi-western grip. I'm coiling up, reaching behind me. And now I'm loaded up the way I was when I picked up the medicine ball. And then practice a swing from there. And you're gonna feel the same thing. You'll feel your whole body and use your left arm. Swing your arms together. Now you're really using the body to hit the ball. It's a lot better than just getting over there and doing that. So go out on the tennis court and try this. So make sure you do this on the backhand side as well. It looks a little bit like this. Same idea, we load up to the left side, coil up, and press the ground, feel the core engage as we come up. There you go. So, if you want to turn this into an exercise and actually develop this power so you can start really crushing the tennis ball, do two to three sets of 12 reps on each side, forehand and backhand, and make that two, three times a week. Do that for about a month, six weeks, and I think you'll notice a lot more power and you'll be a lot more in touch with how this feels, which is very important. You wanna be able to bring this out onto the tennis court with you. I know when you're trying to track the ball and you have a bunch of distractions, it can be hard to focus on this kind of stuff, but try to work it in, it's gonna pay off big time. All right guys, signing out. I'm Matt for Crunch Time Coaching, and I'll see you next week. Oh! Ah, dang. This is going in the bloopers. This is the blooper. This is the bloopers, guys. This is not funny enough to be a blooper. Hey guys, Matt from Crunch Time Coaching, and I look like a robot when I do this. Hey guys, this is Matt from Crunch Time Coaching, and today we got a video that's all about hitting for power, using your body. There's a jet plane above us now. Well, we do live close to Atlanta. Oh no, they know where we live. Ah! You might want to scoot up a little bit. Why? Look where I stand. Tell me where you, tell me where the good, the it's good right there. Yeah. Really get power. What does that mean? Back up. <laughs> Back up. Is this more natural looking than this? So do I use my body when I hit the ball? Yeah, most of the time. Jeez. Oh, don't move the ball! Uh -oh. It's the worst! That's a hard cut. Cut! Oh, hi there. Do you like that? Is that a good way to start it? No, it sounds creepy. It sounds like those late night talk shows or something. Like, 
from the 70s. I don't know. Like, I don't know, Matt. Jeez, it's not right. There's something not right about it. All right, anything from the 70s must be bad. No, not everything, but... <laughs>